Hey y'all. So I cut my all my hair off. It's crazy. It was like 12 inches or something ridiculous. Um yeah, so and I donated it to or I, I'm going to donate it to Locks of Love. I have it still in a ponytail. I just have to go mail it off. Um I'm already ready for it to be long again. Not that I don't like it short, I do, but I wear my hair in a ponytail a lot and I feel guilty that I don't always get up and like do my hair every day. So anyway, I just like the ease of being able to just like throw it back and be done with it. Um, so a lot of stuff is going on. It's now summer. Um, Carson got out of school um, on the 23rd of May. Uh, I think that was a Friday for no. No, he got out like, my stomach just growled so loud. <laughs> yeah, he got out on the 23rd because that was a Thursday and then there was no school Friday. Anyhow, um, and he has been out since then and it has been so nice. His school schedule was right in the middle of the day. So I felt like we could never do anything except for eat breakfast, get everybody ready, and take him to school. And then Violet would fall asleep, and by the time she woke up, it would be time to pick him back up. So, anyhow, I'm so glad that summer is here and that there's no school, and we have actually been able to enjoy, like, just time together. Um, Rusty had taken off the week of the 27th through the 31st, and... I did too, and it was so nice. I was on call um, b um, for to be a doula, and my client didn't go into labor that week. Of course, that would have been nice, but um, she was a first-time mom, and her due date wasn't even until the middle of that week. So um, I knew that she probably wouldn't have her baby, but uh, anyhow, I was on call, so we stayed close, and Monday was Paisley's birthday, and it was also Memorial Day, that 27th was, so we just uh, went to a friend's house and swam in their pool and hung out and had a good time, and then uh, Tuesday, we went to Burgers Lake, and that was so awesome. Um, Wednesday, we went to the zoo. Thursday, what did we do Thursday? Went to the Rangers game. Um, we just took the big kids, the, uh, the little kid, Violet, stayed home. Well, not, she went to my mother-in-law's. And then Friday, we just kind of hung out and regrouped, um, from the week. Because that Saturday, Carson had an elite baseball tournament. He is, in the fall, he was playing on two baseball teams. He was playing on a rec, uh, t-ball team, and he was playing on an elite t-ball team that only did tournaments. And after going back and forth and doing both teams for a while, we decided that he's just going to play the elite tournament and or the elite team and just be one team. That's it's. He was not overwhelmed by any means, but I was, um, and Rusty was, and it's just it's a lot for. Um, the girls to handle, you know, always being out at baseball games, things like that. They never complained. Nobody ever complained. But I just felt like we had two sets of practices and two sets of games and two sets of everything. And I'm not kidding. Carson will come home from playing five games in a day at a tournament and come home and say, Daddy, can we go out in the backyard and play catch? And I'm like, seriously, kid? <laughs> Did you not get enough baseball today? Um, so he is definitely not overwhelmed by any means. Um. But it is nicer just to focus on the elite team. Um, the game's a little faster since all the kiddos are um, more advanced in their skill level. Um, and so it's it's cooler to just watch him grow and develop and learn the game uh, at a different level. So anyway, that's pretty cool. We have... Um, so that last tournament was June 1st and 2nd. It was a two-day tournament instead of a one-day tournament this time, which was nice because we just played two games and then two games instead of all of them in one day. And um, and then my, this past week, my first client had her baby, and that was so awesome. Um, I was so afraid like I was going to miss the phone call in the middle of the night. 
Um, but luckily her water broke that morning and so I was just kind of on standby, went to work for half a day, then went to go help her have her baby, so that was pretty cool. And uh, I didn't even miss the phone call. Um, I got home at like 2.30 in the morning, Wednesday morning, and um, then the girls slip in. Carson gets up whatever time early by himself, but he just goes out and turns on cartoons or plays his baseball video game or whatever. And uh, But the girls slept in uh, until like 9.30, so that was so nice. It was, it was perfect timing. They usually don't do that, especially not Violet. Paisley will, but Violet usually wakes up Paisley and then everybody's up. Anyhow, so that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, so this weekend we... Um, we have off of baseball, and next weekend we have off, but the weekend after that, I think it's the 22nd, yeah, we have another tournament, um, and yeah, so we've got to, we're enjoying these few weekends off while we can, although the weather would probably be better if we were playing this weekend, um, it's not as hot as it's going to be, we're expecting our first over 100 degree days coming up here at the end of the week, so yikes, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm still like traumatized from Violet's pregnancy when we had like over 70 days or something of over 100 degrees. It was nuts. There was like 60 in a row, but like total, there was a lot. Um, so I'm still like traumatized from that. Last summer it wasn't so bad. It wasn't I don't know why, but, um, anyhow, so, that's really exciting, Carson keeps us busy, Violet keeps us busy, Paisley keeps us busy, Paisley is so funny, I need to do a four-year update for her, she, her little personality is just something all on its own, and, um, it's cute to watch her grow and develop, and I'm not used to, um, I mean, of course, she has made me used to over the last four years that somebody being so shy and quiet and just reserved, and she's really giving me a new appreciation for my introverted friends. So, um, what else? Work is going really good, working at the birth center, and my um, childbirth classes are going really well. Um, I haven't had anybody have, I hate to even say it. Let me just say this. Everybody has had a natural vaginal birth that has gone through my class. So that's really exciting. Uh, knock on wood or whatever. Countertop or anyhow. Um, that's super exciting. What else is going on? I'm trying to think. I feel like it's just I haven't given y'all a solid update in such a long time. So I plan to do a four-year update for Paisley. Um, Violet's going to be two at the end of August, so at the end of the summer, and she is just, she's a mess, she's so busy and fun and crazy, and she's a bully, and she's mean, but she's sweet, and she's nice, and she, she's everything, she's all, everything rolled into one, and, um, yeah. She should be the Gemini and not Paisley. She, Violet is so back and forth of, you know, good versus evil. And um, Paisley's like a sweet, calm, gentle soul. Uh, but the, everybody really gets along well. The kids all play together well. Um, they do do better in pairs. Um, so somebody's always left out, but that's just the drawbacks of having... Only three, but that's okay. Only three. Three is a lot. But, um, having an odd number of kids. But we definitely don't look to fill that empty space anytime soon. Not accepting applications. Um, I, I, we are busy with the three we have, and I still feel that way. I'm still traumatized from my last pregnancy. And, um,. Yeah, so I have definitely been keeping up with all of you guys. Um, it's definitely easier for me to watch videos and make videos these days, but it's okay. I do plan to do an updated day in the life um, soon. I'll do it. I don't know. I don't want to commit and then fail in my commitment. So anyhow, um, I'm recording this for my phone, so it's only going to let me talk for 10 more seconds. So I'll just wrap it up. Anyhow, I will talk to you guys. Um, all later and see you later. Bye.